Well, hello everybody. I'm sitting in my wife's O2 Lexus RX 300. She went to take my daughter to school this morning, made it a few blocks, and she go no more. Pretty sure the transmission shelled on it. Let me let you hear this. Get ready for some grinding. Now I could be wrong, but that certainly sounds like gear on gear noise to me. Probably something in the planetary gear set has sheared some teeth or lost some pins or something. The job itself, not that I've done a whole bunch of automatic transmissions, just one to be honest with you. The rebuild itself shouldn't really be that bad. It's just getting the tranny out and getting it back in is the problem. No fun. I don't have time for this, but here we are. So let's see what we need to do. Alright, well here we go. Let me get this vent hose out of the way. I'm taking some of these components off. I found a book somewhere on the internet. I dug around and found a, a manual so I'm just basically going by the manual because like I said say it for the last time I am NOT a transmission specialist by any stretch but pretty sure I can get this done I'm trying to get the dipstick out of here I'm having to do it on the floor I don't have a suitable workbench for this I've got most of the oil out of it but I know there's still a lot left in there So just pulling these sensors off. I've marked this one right here on the top, number one, just so I know where it came from. And then there's one that looks identical to it right here. It is going to go right here by default since I know where number one is. It should just pop right out of there. There's one. And this number two. That's actually got a little garbage on the end of it where that magnet is. This one right here is for the wiring harness. I'm going to remove the bolt, but not try to pry that out of there or I will damage the wiring harness that's inside. <clears throat> and I'm just sticking bolts back in where they go as I go. And as it gets cleaned up, they'll be right there where I need them. Okay, like I said, I'm not trying to take that out. I need to get this shifting arm off of here. I'm not sure what's going to take. When this thing comes apart, there are going to be hundreds of pieces. So I'm going to do my best to try to keep everything in a reasonable order since I've never done this before. I'm sure if I do two or three of these, I'd be able to do it without any reference. This is fighting me here. Come on. There we go. All right, goes in that orientation. I need to bend these tabs around here on this nut. Release these. This 
This is going to be a very long video. Okay. Got to find something large enough to get that nut off. I don't have hardly any of my auto tools over here. I just bought one in, brought in one impact ratchet. So anyway, I'll pull this nut off. I'll get these two remaining bolts out of this sensor. And the sensor should just pull right off. All right, well, I've got it tilted up on some two by material here. I drained all I could out before I brought it over, but there's still fluid in it. So I pulled the plug after I got it set in this direction and got this volume of transmission oil out of it. I am got my little dam set up here and I'm pulling the pan now. Starting to come down here. I'm going to leave a couple at the top so that fluid doesn't get away from me. I don't have a better way to do this. I'm starting to come out across the floor. Let's see if I can crack the pan a little. Yeah, here it comes. Yeah, it's got a little bit, but not as much as it appears to be. I think I can go ahead and pull the pan now. Should be the last one. Should do it. There we go. So I've got to read and figure out what I need to disconnect here to get this wiring harness out of the way. I guess I can go ahead and pull the filter off. This will of course get a new one. Whoa, a little bit there. I'm trying not to make a huge mess in my shop. So I am working on a tarp. So let me kind of get this cleaned up and we'll move on. All right, well, pretty straightforward here. I've gotten most of the clips or connectors taken off. There's little hold downs here for the wires to hold them. Just unlooped those. There's one hold down and bolt right here for this. I think it's a temperature sensor. This should just come off and then that pop right out. My manual actually showed a speed sensor on the top. This transmission doesn't have one. So let's see. A little wiggle. Yeah, it looks like just a O-ring on that. Got more fluid coming down here. Now I should be able to twist that harness connector on the other side and fish all these up through there. It should twist and come out. A wiggle. I'll try to lightly pry on that. These are things I do not want to break. Yeah, a wiggle and a, a pull. Should be able to get these out carefully. Everything is really slick, hard to hang on to. Yeah, you can tell I'm concentrating here. I can't see around there. Okay, it's coming. I'm going to say I may need to walk back around it and look to see if I can manipulate those clips to get this out. And that's coming. Careful, careful. One more. There we go. 
All right, well, I flipped it up on its back so I can get this valve body off. There's 17 bolts in here I had to get loose. And there are three various links. I'm just going to pull them out for anyone who may want to know which 17 they were. I'm not going to go over the links. A lot of them. I believe that's all of them. Yeah, that's 17. This should just come right off now. Straight up. I see this piston here wants to come out, so make sure that's in there. Try to carefully flip this over. Just set it down for now. And then I know I need to pull these three accumulators out of here next, I believe, but let me clean up again. I'm having to wash my hand a thousand times just so I can work with the camera. I do see a little ball right there. All right, well, I need to get these accumulator pistons out of here. I'm just noting this information for my reference because apparently spring length and color may be different so that says 2-4 on the top let's see what we've got in here just a spring mine looks to be red about four inches long and then the second one there's no cap it's just a spring let me make sure there is no cap yep just a spring Mine's painted white, again about four inches long or so. There is another spring under here. There's a piston in that hole, I believe. I may have to blow that out with some air. Hmm. Let's try to get a pick in here. Oh, there it comes. Okay. So it looks like that piston there more stuff okay and then this last piston's got just a flat cap on it so there's the piston and then the spring here two springs blue and then green here in that hole that should be all from there and then this is an anti drain back valve that goes right in here and there is a tiny spring if I can get it out of there so that spring rides right there that's all I see in that hole those are looking good now there's two seals right here. One of them has got a, I don't know, a little tube inside of it. So that's just a, just looks like a flat rubber seal. No tube there. Must be this one. This one is thicker and a little larger in diameter. Again, for my reference, and there is some kind of a tube right here. Looks like there's an O-ring on it. I may have to get a pair of pliers to get that out of there. My hands are so slick right now I can't even hang on to my tools. So yeah, I'll get a pair of needle nose and pull that out. When I did flip that valve body over, I've got a lot of... Well, not a whole lot, but bits of steel my guess came from somewhere right up in this arena and it came down and it was sitting right on top of that valve body and then what was down in the pan there's a hole somewhere around in this arena where it would have washed and hit the pan 
So now let's continue on. All right, well, I pulled that little tube out. Hopefully you can see it. It's actually, it looks like it's got a molded piece of rubber on the end of it. That rubber piece was in the hole first. I need to take some of this bracketry off here and get this manual lever out of the way. Let's see what we've got here. There we go. Got to take a few bolts out. Actually, I'm supposed to start with this pin clip right here. I believe it just pulls straight up. Yeah, that clip went in just like so. Now I'll get back to these. I'm supposed to take this off. And then we've got three more. Exciting stuff. Go ahead and get these broken loose. Okay. Alright, let's see. Those two bolts are the same golden color. Got this silver one right here. Looks like there's a little spring tension on this. Okay. And this is actually two pieces right here. These fit together just like that. And then they set on top of this, just like that. And I don't know if I can get this out yet, but there is a roll pin in here. They said to use an eighth inch drift punch. I'm gonna use a roll pin punch, same principle. Let's see, I need to grab my hammer. So, see if they were right. That sure seems smaller than an eighth inch to me. I'm going to get a smaller one and drive that out. Once I get that roll pin out, this shaft is supposed to slide out this direction. And then this linkage will just lift out. That might be the parking pole right there. Alright, we're moving on. Well, I don't like being lied to, guys. I went at that with that quarter or eighth inch roll pin punch. Figured it was too big. Then I went at it with a smaller one. Still no go. So I was turning it around to look from the other side and it was in a blind hole and it turns out it was a, uh, a set screw, not a roll pin, it was a set screw. So I can't get it out now, it's destroyed. The only thing I needed to take it out for was pretty much just to change the seal on the end. I may be able to pick the other one out and then put in the new one. It wasn't leaking anyway. But anyway, I've got 17 bolts here I need to run out and try to get this bell housing off. And then we're going to start seeing the damage, I believe. Alright, a lot of this is shot from my documentation just so I can check bolts and things like that so I can make sure they're all the same. 
if I get caught somewhere, I can go back and review my own footage. All these are the same. These are longer on the inside. See if they're all the same. So far, they are. Yeah, okay. So all the short ones were around the perimeter. All the long ones on the inside. I'm going to try to crack this apart if I can. I didn't bring my pry bars, so let's see what happens. Looks like it's wanting to. Feels like it's coming off and there we go. <clears throat> Take a peek on the inside. You may not be able to see it. There's a race in here, a tube, big roller bearings. That's about that. I'll try to set this aside. And I believe, okay, there's a bearing. Okay, there's a needle bearing. That would fit right here. And there's the race goes right here, right there, okay. The differential or the final drive should just lift straight out. Okay, try to flip it over and see what's on the front. Just a bearing, race, output seal right there. Straightforward. Let me get this stuff out of the way and we'll see what needs to happen next. Alright, well I need to take the pump off of it, I believe, so that's where I'm at. Try to zip these out. Check my bolts here. Looking good. All these are the same on the oil pump or the pump. This should just pick right up, I believe. Not sure what we're going to find yet. Appears to be all in one piece. Pretty sure this lifts straight out. This is where I'm expecting to see some damage. Okay, there is a thrust bearing in there. Okay. Okay, these, all these clutches in here will be removed, big snap ring. These will get further disassembly as I move along. So far I'm not seeing anything. Let's see, this actually went this way. And got another bearing here. There's a, a collar or a flange sticking up off this one. Touches right in there like so. Does this come up? Okay, let's see what we've got here. There's another thrust bearing with another one of those shouldered races. Went that way, so this actually sits down in here. And I think that is as far as we can go at the moment. All right, well, I need to get this parking pole out of the way so I can get this gear out over there. There's one bolt. This is supposed to come out. And this should come off this pin. Just leave that there for now. This pin is supposed to come out. And I can move this 
out of the way. So they said, go ahead and pull that off. Uh, try to get that spring off there. Looked a lot easier. There's another pin down in a hole. Okay, I don't know if I can get that out. No, I can't. I showed just moving it over. Clearing that. How am I supposed to do that? How am I supposed to do that, guys? Maybe I'm supposed to take the pin out from there. Try to get some pliers. I guess I should have digested that a little better. Well, that did come out. Did drop down into that, but maybe if I... No, that's got to sit there. I don't think I can clear that. I got that in there somehow. Hmm. All right, well, I don't have my tongue in the right spot in my cheek, I guess. Yeah, let me read that section again and see if I can decipher it. All right, well, I was looking at the diagram backwards. I thought I was trying to take this gear out. I'm actually trying to take this assembly out. So you push it away from there. I'm going to stick that in there just to hold this paw out of the way. This thing is heavy and slick and I could not lift it up, so I've got a couple zip ties around it to see if I can lift that out of there. It should lift right out, so let's see. It sure does. Let me turn it over and see if there's anything under it. I thought this planet set would come out with it. I don't see anything down in here. Well, that will come off. Turn that over. There's a thrust bearing down in there. Should be a race. Yeah, there's a race. Flange portion goes down. snap ring stuff in here we'll get to. I'm not sure why this planet's not coming out of here yet, but I thought it was going to. I'll work on that. Now at that point you were supposed to pull the pin out that held the spring and the paw and spring will just come out. Okay, well there's a big snap ring down in this hole. I've got to try to get out with a screwdriver. And then there's a one-way clutch underneath this, so there's the snap ring. Let me look at it and see if there's any markings or anything by which way it would go in. No, it doesn't appear that way. And this clutch is supposed to come right out. So there's the one-way clutch. There's an anti-rattle clip right here. I'm just leaving it on there for now. Try to determine if I can see which way this went. Okay. Right here is a, a detent. Maybe you can see that. There's actually three of them. They face up. There should be another snap ring in here. With clutch packs underneath it. So let's see if I can get this one started out. Okay. It's in there like that. Take a look at this. Doesn't appear that it matters.
and there will be a series of a clutch pack in here with friction material and discs steels I mean okay this thick one goes on the end doesn't appear that it matters which way it goes there is cut out here so that's evidently keyed yeah there's a big section here looks like all the discs are going to be that way as well try to start getting these out of here Setting them down as they come out. Okay, and that should be it. Now there's something else in here that's got springs underneath it that needs to be compressed and you're supposed to have a special tool and a press so I need to devise a way to do that here if I can okay well I was able to get this spring out of there I just pushed down on a little bit with a pair of pliers just worked it right out there wasn't too much tension on this so I'm going to try to hook this and pull it up if I can. Okay, so there's all those little springs right there. And there's a piston down in here. I'm not real sure how to get that piston out yet. I may have to blow some air somewhere and pop that out we'll find out there are also two uh, seals right here in the case halves there's one and there's another one right here definitely want to make sure we don't forget to put those in as a matter of fact I'm going to take these out right now they both look to be the same Okay, I was able to get this piston out of there simply by using these ring pliers and grabbing across two of these holes, working it back and forth, and it just popped right out. There's a port somewhere where you could apply some air and it would blow that right out, but I didn't need to do that. So now I need to get this thing flipped over and remove the back cover, and we'll see what is going to happen after that. All right, well, I flipped it over again. I need to remove these bolts here. be 11 of these again I'm just checking and making sure they're all the same length so far they are looks good and this cover should come off again I don't really have pry bars here so Try to find a spot to get a hold of it. Might be able to crack it like this. There it went. There it went. Okay. There are seals in various spots. I'll be changing all this stuff out later. There's a needle bearing down in there. Okay. There's 
So I guess now I need to remove these tubes right here. There are two seals. Just making notes. I think there's only one bracket here that holds these on. Yeah, the bracket sits like that. Try to massage these out of here. They should just pop right out. one goes this way doesn't look like there's any o-rings or anything just <coughs> press fit try to get this one okay there's that one set just like that Now I'm pretty sure, okay, there it is. <coughs> All right, there's a thrust bearing on the end right there. <coughs> this should just pull right up. Okay, another thrust bearing. like that Let's see what we got here cage okay another thrust bearing right there Uh, we're getting somewhere. Look at that. After looking at these things flattened out, that almost looks like a needle bearing to me. So my assumption is something in this planetary is boom. There it is. We're getting into the damage. I can hear needle bearings. Oh, this. Okay. There's a thrust washer. Try to turn this over and yeah, part of a part of something. Uh, I'm not seeing any broken teeth here yet, but that doesn't mean anything. Oh yeah, something's something's not right in this arena. I'm just trying to keep everything as it came out. Yeah, there's where all the grinding was on one of these cages, it looks like. Alright, well there's a big snap ring here, some clutch packs. Let me kind of figure out where I'm at here. There's another part of a needle bearing. That is the race for that one. Okay. There's a sun gear. Well, there's a, a bunch of blood in there. Where's that coming from? <laughs> well, I've lacerated myself pretty good somewhere. I'm beating up. So anyway, let me uh, clean my hands off and mend my wound and we'll get back into this and see if we can figure out the rest. All right, well, I've addressed my wound. I am still just exploring now. I'm just going to wing it here and see. There's another big snap ring coming out. Let me look at this one. I don't think that one matters much either. Let's see what's coming out next. Some more frictions. 
you know, I can read the writing on these so they don't even really look that worn. It'll probably get new ones, but it is an option. Uh, this one's chewed up. Something's got in between it. Oh, yeah. This one's been destroyed on the back side. Hopefully you can see that damage. By bits of this cage, I thought those were needle bearings that were, or roller bearing needles that were flattened out. But now I'm thinking something has just caused this cage to go by. It could be that I will find more as we go deeper, who knows. But this is definitely the problem area. And there's a one-way clutch in here too, I believe. And it could be that it quit functioning. And then things weren't locking up the way they were supposed to. Yeah, this is where all the burnt stuff is coming from. I'm, here's a big chunk right there. I'm pretty sure this cage was just supposed to lift out, but it's not happening. So let's see. It's like something might be jammed up in here. Uh, I see another snap ring there. Maybe I can try to get a hold of that with some pliers. Like I said, I'm winging it here because I don't really know what's what's what at the moment well i can definitely see these pins are moving that's where i thought the damage was going to be uh, how does that come out of there i thought this just lifted right out Might be deformed and jammed in there, who knows? These are sharp too. I can feel it wanting to cut me all up. Well, there is a ring gear inside of this, so that planet set should come out. Well, there's the sun gear. There's a bearing below that. That went down in that way, so that would fit to this. Okay. Oh, you know what? This may be connected. This is connected with the nut on the other side. I think I'm getting ahead of myself here. Uh, cut myself again. All right, guys. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing here, so. Let me digest a little bit more and we will figure it out.